buoys on a boat, one car. Who's gonna get it? And an oar. We have we, Josh and Dylan are oaring. Go, Josh, go! And oh. I'm so glad you got that on camera. Get I have something to show the police. Uh oh, what do you have? We found. Nine o'clock. Horns are blaring, we're ready to go. So yesterday we had five cars underwater, four teams that are set out to search, and it was epic. Three of them turned out to be stolen. Even two of them had two ATMs in them apiece. How crazy is that? In one boat, we had Josh and Dylan out of Redmond, Oregon. And we had in another boat, Adam Brown with Adam Brown's Adventures and Brit in Depths of History. We had Jacob with Chaos Divers. And last but not least, we had Jeremy with Exploring with Nug. It was a great competition. All five teams did a great job. All five cars were located and found. Everybody won their prizes. And last but not least, the police got the biggest prize of them all, a brand new closing to an investigation. And with that, the morning competition is already kicked off. We have Jeremy with Exploring with Nug already out there searching for the first car. In this lake, we only have one car, so will Jeremy find it? The other teams, I don't know. They knew it was nine o'clock. Dylan's here. Dylan is about to get in the water. Dylan, by the way, yesterday's winner found the first car, $150 prize. That was epic. See it on ice can? I'm on it. You willing to risk it? I'm willing to risk it for right. the biscuit. Tie it up and throw it in. Found two cars, Dylan. How was that? Woo! Yeah. What, but we're missing people. We have a couple teams that are missing. If you're not here, you're not here. You're missing out. Adam Brown, Mr. Britt with Depths of History. Where are you? We're waiting. Your prize is waiting. And Jacob right behind us is about to get in the water. Will he be the second boat on the water? We don't know. Time is on his, not on his side. Time is definitely ticking down. Jacob is just pitting, patting around. Up, oh, we are, we got Buddy here just showed up with Fort Worth PD. Let's give you him a great big introduction. Hey, Buddy, thanks done. for coming out Good again. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. You, so we have Buddy here, who is partly responsible for all of this happening in this community here for Fort Worth. Man, this is this is looking great. You guys are already out on the lake. This is this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely cool. amazing. Cool. And if and, and, and if you guys can go to their page, they have they have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. It's all at Fort Worth PD. At Fort Worth PD. We even have Twitter. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, everything <laughs> out there but Snapchat. Right. So uh, come see us. Come see the Fort Worth Police Department. And I'll tell you, it, it is big thanks to the Fort Worth Police Department. They've given me the ability uh, to come out here, help set everything up for you guys, make the right connections, try to find some locations for you guys to go in. And uh, they just want to be here to, uh, to help you guys out. And with that, today's competition is going to be epic. Sit back, grab your popcorn. You are not going to want to miss this. You're going to go with Dylan, Josh? <laughs> I can't push this one in. Trolling motor's easy, it's just back and forth. Ow! All right, yeah. Do you have your phone on you? Got my phone and got my GoPro. All right. Great, great you? Yeah. Why? That's yours. But you like the brown. I upgraded yesterday. And with that, we have our second boat of the water in, the, in, in starting its competition. They're, who's gonna get it? Is it gonna be Josh and Dylan? Or is it gonna be exploring with Nug who was out there first? I don't know, but it's gonna be epic. And stop what you're doing right now. If you have not seen day one of this competition, go watch that. You will not know what's going on right here unless you watch that. The link will be in the description below or boom, right there. Third boat, almost on the water. Chaos divers, Jacob and Lindsay. Are they gonna find it? Is the is the third boat on the water gonna beat the first and second boat? Keep in mind, almost finding it is like almost winning the lottery. Yeah, absolutely. Almost, like almost find it, close but no cigar. That's right. They may have found a car. They said they need a buoy. Let's see their picture. You got the photo evidence? It's gotta be a car, not a dock or a boat. It's gotta be a car. All right. My buoy, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they think they found the car. It's gotta be on it. If oh, the know. marker doesn't land on the car and I dive on it, I get the prize. I got you. The I only you. way you win is unless you get your magnet on the car. Doesn't matter how many people spot the car. If you get your magnet on the car, then if it's confirmed when we dive, you won. You can say you found a car all you want. You can drop a buoy all you want and pretend like you found it, but until it's confirmed and we dive on it, 
then you've won. All right, do you need a buoy, sir? Yeah, even though they're gonna beat me to it. And we have a war, we have a competition. Two buoys on a boat, one car. Who's gonna get it? And an oar, we have, we, Josh and Dylan are oaring. Go, Josh, go! We got a photo, photo evidence. A vehicle, we need a buoy. We now have three boats, one car, three buoys in the water. Who's gonna get it? You, so Jacob has the first confirmed verbal confirmation of being on it. Good job, Chaos. But are you on it? Oh, Jeremy, second magnet in the water. Verbal confirmation, whose magnet's on it, whose magnet's not. There's a lot of distance between them two buoys. He's on it, I know he is. I thought you were on it. It could be a really big car. Hi, right, damn it. Well, I'm not on it no more. Oh. The far right is Jeremy's <laughs> magnet. Is that two cars marked? No, same car. We're same same car. Right. Who marked it first? Uh, we got Jeremy marked it first. So far, Jeremy's the winner, but it hasn't been confirmed. We're gonna dive on it. So right now, we are 30 minutes into our competition. The car has been found, possible other cars to go. Beers Towing will be here at 11 with their amazing off-road master manipulator recovery machine. It's gonna be epic. Where have these guys been? Where where we were you? There's an excuse I brought. No, no, look, look. So look, let me let me let, let me give you some advice. This, and, this, and this will carry on throughout your life. Losers make excuses. Winners and champions will Listen, never make I an have excuse. Something to show the we police. can still win, man. We I have something to show the police. Uh oh, what do you have? We found. What did you we, find? we we went this morning at like we woke up at like six o'clock and we went to a canal. Yeah. And we Oh, you woke up this morning. And you went on another mission, and you were late for this. Right. Well, we were searching. No, dude, we were five minutes away from here. We got lost and stuck. Yo, so you saw on. You were lost and stuck five minutes away from here. Yeah. And then this guy had to. You want to tell him what you just did? What did you just do? Finish, finish that. Finish the story, Britt. Finish the story. What did you find? I found a wallet, and it's got the girl's ID in what? it, and everything, and all this stuff. Yeah, I was. I wanted to show it to the police officer. Wow. And then he found a, a license plate with all the numbers on it and everything. Is there and a car then, attached to it? There was, there was pieces of cars all around it. <laughs> Dude, I was uh, so... I, I, you know, I thought I saw, I saw that canal on the map. Yeah, it comes off the river right here, and then yeah, feeds yeah. through. I got nervous. I was thinking about you guys we when I saw that. There, Where's the wallet? Like, Let's see the wallet. Let's check oh, it out. We got a wallet. It was right next to like- Was it like really old, really new? Yeah, it's like, it's got dirt in it and stuff like that. Oh, okay. The license is still, I mean, like active, so. Okay. Yeah, the license. Yeah. Hopefully there's some stuff in there that somebody needs, yeah. you know? Oh yeah. It sucks to lose all your personal stuff, your wallet and your, you know, your ID, money, oh, sure. credit cards, debit cards. Definitely. Oh, a wallet. Texas ID. Let's go, does it clean oh, off? Man, I found a bone. Oh, it cleans off. Oh yeah. That's like an old petrified bone. Check that out. I know, dude, that bone is weird. Is that like a human bone, dude? No. No, that's like animal, animal bone, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, I have a lot of experience with finding bones, yes. especially old bones like this. Yes. It just does not look like a human joint. These would yeah. be deeper. Nice. There's so many fossils there. Yeah, this is definitely not a fossil. Yes. You can see it's like, like you can see the marrow and how it's, you know, grainy. It's definitely a bone. However, our, our yeah, our, our bones just aren't that heavy. And I found that license plate. <laughs> Dude. Wow. I'm gonna go Don't wash this off. Daughter. Wow, right, she's, so she's a young girl, 27 years old. 27 yeah. years old. Obviously we'll have to bleep her out, but yes. she's, she, she's a very young, bright looking young woman. And I'm sure she'll love to have her ID back. ID back, yeah. yeah. I'd like to see if they can run it, like the police can run yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, well, well they'll, they'll, look, they'll be able to look her up instantly okay. and be able to tell if she's the victim of a crime. That'd be awesome. Oh That'd yeah. Be Incredible. What yeah. if it was like a missing person? You never know. Like or, they try to ditch their items. Or... Yeah, and we're, we might have to go back to that canal. Yeah. 
Who knows? Seriously. Okay, you're busy? No, I'm not busy. I'm playing a golf game. Oh. <laughs> Is that a plate off one of the cars? No. So these guys this so these guys this morning took it upon themselves to wake up really early and go over into the canal. Okay. And they found a plate, a wallet with an ID in it. We washed, we washed it off. the ID off. We don't know, I mean, if she's missing or was she involved in a robbery, most likely. And got, yeah. We just wanted to run it, maybe see. I don't yeah, know. let me. Because uh, if that's the case, we can. Right we, now, we, 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 we can. We can. We can. What canal were you in? Uh, fossil or the fossil? Fossil Creek. Creek. Fossil yep, Creek. right underneath yeah. all the highway bridges. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if uh, if it is, we'll send a crew back over there and keep female. searching. Male? I mean female. Ruby. Yeah. Okay. Ruby. You want to hold on to this one? Yeah, give me just a second. I don't want right. to touch it. Okay. No, all right. Give, give me a second. <laughs> Let me do some digging. I'll let you yeah. Know. Was there another ID in there you said? Yeah, it was uh, just well, a, Motel a Motel 6 card. Motel 6 card. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so obviously we're law enforcement. It's kind of limited what we can share. Yes. Uh, what I can tell you is we ran that person, that individual. They're not coming back as a missing person. That is our most no, no, crucial no. thing that we look for. Make sure they're not a missing person. Yeah. Um, it looks like maybe someone may have just lost their wallet while they were in that area. Okay. Uh, we have some phone numbers here for her, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to reach out and see if those phone numbers are good and try to contact this individual. So okay. appreciate you bringing it to our attention. Yeah. Yes. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing is making sure they're not missing, um, all that stuff, you know? Okay. Yeah, cool. not involved in a homicide yeah, or anything definitely. like that. Well, so that's, that's good news, that's anyway, good news. Anyway, anyway, great. Any, cool. anything you guys get out there, make sure you bring it to me and yeah, I'll try right. to help you out, continue we'll to help you out the best we can. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, thank you, thank you guys. You bet. Let's go get our divers in the water. Beards towing will be here in about 20 minutes. So let's get these cars rigged up so when that master manipulator recovery machine gets here, we just rip it right out. You got this, Adam. It's not deep. Have fun. I don't think I'm gonna use fins for this one. Yeah, you probably won't need it. So there's a little bit of pollution in here, I hear? Oh no. This is pure mountain fresh water right here in Fort Worth, Texas. This has come. Out. This has come out of the Alpines. It's freshly filtered, ice melt. Nothing to worry about. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. This is the so complete nasty. opposite. It looks really gross. And you know, it'll right. make you stronger. Right, right guys? Whatever it doesn't kill you, make you stronger. That's right. That's the reason they say that. So Adam from Adam Brown Adventures just went under. He's gonna dive down. He's gonna make sure and come. He's gonna identify the car first. So as soon as he's down, the number one priority is identify because we don't know what is going on with the vehicle. Could it be related to a crime? Is it stolen? Whatever. But regardless, once we identify it, either the window's up, remove the plate, we're gonna take it right to Buddy at Fort Worth PD, and he's gonna do his uh, homework on what exactly the story is with the car. And then we'll proceed from there, wh whether or not it'll be immediate recovery, or is this gonna be something bigger? Is there somebody in it? All the way on, quarter turn in. What's your gauge read? 2,000, so I'm good. Good. All right. Here, you want to take this down? Take this down. Uh, one of you guys rigged that to a wheel, okay. behind the wheel. All right. That works. See if you can identify the car. Okay. I don't think there's a license plate on it. Okay. Are the windows up on it? Uh, hard to say. Did you check front and back? Did you check the front and the back? Yeah, I checked both. Okay, is it upside down or right side up? I think it's right side up. Yeah, it's okay. right side up. Okay. The front feels like it's smashed in though. Okay. The back, you can feel where the bolts are, but there's no plate on it. Okay, all right. So Adam has just confirmed, bombshell breaking news, the first buoy that Jeremy Nug, exploring with Nug, put on the car today is officially on the car. We haven't confirmed the second one, but at this point, that's all we need to know. We know he was the first one to verbally confirm he had a magnet on the vehicle, and we've confirmed that that, in fact, is on the vehicle. But we're gonna go ahead and see, maybe there's a second car out there that the other buoy's on. I don't know. You're Jeremy, like, you're the first one. winner of the day. I, I congrats, I this, congrats. I have an edge. Sure. So, lesson learned, ladies and gentlemen, and kids that are watching this, show up early. Be on time. If you're on time, you're late. So show up early, then you're on time. He was here early. Was still running behind. He was on time. He was out in the water first, and he won. I'm gonna remember Congratulations. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get wherever we're at, like at seven, and then I'll be just like 
It's ready right. to go. Right, there you go. The there you go. Hits, I'm keep, in the water, it, like. keep it, keep it going. Keep it going, man. Keep it up. Great job. Breaking news in the competition. The second buoy that Jacob from Chaos Divers put out there isn't on anything. Sorry, Jacob. So we got, we had, uh, we had Nug. I uh, know we, we had Adam in the vehicle. He can't see anything. Um, unable to get to it right away. And uh, Britton went down on it and he's not sure um, of his connection. So I'm just gonna jump in the water and make sure it gets done. I've been in towing almost 20 years. You know, uh, I've owned and managed multiple companies. So when it comes to towing, recovering vehicles, uh, on land, underwater, th this is my life, man. I love it. And now with that, I've been able to turn all that experience into helping families and also helping the environment as well. I think we have it rigged up like in two ways, so I think it's gonna be perfect because Doug's down there right now, and oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you got that on camera. Yeah, no, Doug's down there right now, and I think he's hooking up one last J hook, and we should be good to go. So it's gonna be fun. craziest recoveries we've ever done. We've had Fort Worth PD here helping us out, beards towing with the most prolific recovery machine that in existence. Check it out. She's pregnant. We'll, we'll try to open this door. Say fish first. There's some good ones there. Yep. Let everybody see. We'll let our code compliance go. All the fish oh, we, we saved here. Are these keepers code compliance? No, I'll throw them back. Oh, all right. We're going to have to throw them back. Right. Those are little ones. We're going to let these guys live. What about the car? I'll throw it back too. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to break the door open in hopes that we can get a thin plate on the frame here so that uh, Fort Worth PD here can appropriately identify this without having a whole team go over it. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> there we go. So that's what we were looking for. With this VIN, with this VIN plate ID right here, these guys don't have to send out a specialized team to search through this, tear it down, and break it up. So we have Jared and Jacob still out scanning. This vehicle, as you see, just got pulled out. So we're gonna catch up with them, see exactly where they're at with their car search, and we're gonna have to regroup and pack all this stuff up, and we're gonna have to get to wherever they're out. So we're gonna pull some more cars out.
epic competition already today. Now we're at Marine Creek Reservoir where Chaos Divers Jacob has a car. We have Fort Worth PD here. We have Beers Towing here with their amazing recovery machine. Let's get over here and see exactly what they have going on. We're at Marine Creek Reservoir and Jacob has a Pontiac Fiero that he's getting ready to go back in on. Uh, Beers Towing is all ready, ready to go. And once he gets in the water, uh, we'll have this Pontiac out within 25 minutes. Already been cleared or not yet? Um, no, it has not been cleared yet. They, it, so far, they haven't been able to get a license plate or VIN number and uh, um, unable to tell until we get it out as far as if someone is or isn't in the vehicle. So you or Jared be diving to rig it up? Um, I will not. J uh, Jacob is already suited up. Um, I trust Jacob to rig it properly or I'd suit up so hopefully he can get it. Um, he hasn't stated that he's worried about it so I think he can do it. Do we have any boats in the water to be topside? Um, no, no, it, sh it should be fine. It's a clean, clean go for him. Lindsay will be on, on his boat with uh, helping him out. And it'll be, be pretty easy. Boat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yes, one boat in the water, topside. Yeah. Cool, yeah, it was wrapped around the bank, so I had to separate it. Chaos Divers in the water, Jacob, and he's about to hook up this car and we're gonna pull it on in and see if it's connected to any crimes or possibly missing people. Here we go. So the magnet's not attached to the car anymore. Okay. The anchor's not attached to the car anymore, so I was lost down there and I couldn't find it. Um, so I went around and looked and I finally found it and uh, it's chained up, hooked up, and ready to go. Dang, man, you're good. That's hard to do without a magnet. We just can't like run plates and give you guys information. Yeah. My whole reason for going and doing this now is to see if it's involved in a crime before we continue to touch it. Right. So it's not right. like I'm just giving y'all information, telling you whose it is. Yeah. You can't legally do that. Right. My whole deal here is just to go see if it's involved in a crime or a missing person. So okay. I'm gonna go check that yep. out. So that was great news. What Buddy is going to do, he's gonna go confirm. So we don't have to wait. Uh, James from Beers Toe can either take the car to his lot or he's gonna t have to take it to uh, impound. Um, and or leave it here for forensics to come right away. It's been an epic 48 hours. This car just made our seventh car in less than 48 hours. That's you're huge. Right. You're right, you're right. Seventh car. Uh, the only problem is a handful of them have been reported stolen. Yeah, yeah. Reported stolen. So 
You guys don't get to take all of them all on display. We're going to have to unfortunately take, uh, take them into our possession. Yeah. So we have seven pulled out, five, six, seven more possibly tomorrow. Absolutely. This is great for the marine environment here. I'm, I'm excited, man. Great for the marine uh, environment and great for the Fort Worth Police Department. We're yeah. going to find out, you know, you don't know where stolen cars would be. You think they're like in wooded areas or in some kind of hidden garage. Right. You never know. But on this instance, we never have the capability to go down and do what you guys have done. Yeah. And uh, you found them, you located them, you pulled them up, and now we got to do our work. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. Stop what you're doing right now. I know I've said it before. Go show Fort, we Fort Worth Police Department some love. Their Twitter, their Instagram, their TikTok, their Facebook. Go leave them some love. Also, stop what you're doing right now. 60% of you that are watching this are not subscribed to this channel. Please, subscribe to this. We're out here doing really good things for families, the environment, right. hey, police agencies. Right. It really helps when you subscribe. Like, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. A lot more crazy stuff's gonna be going on here. Right in, here in Fort Worth, Texas. In Fort Worth, yep. Man, absolutely, hey, it's been great work with yes. you guys. Look forward to a few more days. Yes, thank you, Fantastic. thank you. Fantastic, yes sir. Hey guys.